The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Ronin Warriors is owned by Sunrise Discotheque Media, Wild Brain, and recorded by Vancouver-based Ocean Productions. Please support the official release. Hey, I'm a stone dude, and let's begin. Ready, go. Look at the whooshing on screen! Oh! <laughs> that anime hair! So this is a series of games. Came on the PlayStation for home consoles. I think there was a PlayStation 2 version that did like a... A compilation release of, uh, well, only two of these games came out. Psychic Force. Gonna be doing one and two today, which on arcades was known as Psychic Force 2012. Both of these videos brought to today to us by Insert Coin. Yeah, I was... Where did it do the PlayStation one? More of those videos for that version exists. But then I gotta deal with like low times. And you saw in the intro a lot of people are like floating around and stuff like that. That's mostly what this game be about. It's a lot of throwing projectiles and such. I was like, hmm, look interesting, but I never gave it the I might have seen ads for it, but I looked at this and I was like, I don't know about this one. Burn, I wonder what his element is. Well, you've already seen it, but... <laughs> if they tell you his name was like, Burn. Well, you saw the outfit, too. Man. Imagine if they thought to do Kyokusanagi with this look. And now we're out in the city. Burn versus Gates. I didn't get I didn't catch the first guy's name. It's weird when the health bars are on the side. Oh! I guess that's like a big trap spell or whatever they got. Well not spell, but. Pyrokinesis! I guess the other guy was cryokinesis. That or water hydrokinesis? The guy who was fighting at the intro. T pose for dominance. Well, more like T pose for getting dominated. I mean, what are you about? You just some guy with missiles? It'd be funny if there was a normal guy with, like, cyber upgrades to keep up. <laughs> Why the cubes, though? I mean, you guys have to get two out of con- Oh my god! Pork chop sandwiches! <laughs> oh shit, get the fuck out! Emilia, huh? Wouldn't it get, like, hot in there in the cave? Well, I guess, I don't know. The cube. Is this what that movie, The Cube, was about? Nah, no, probably not. Oh, the flashing. Mm. At least that's the health bars. But still. I didn't look at the other meter, the blue, I guess that's your... Your lack for a better term, MP meter or whatever. I don't know if they gotta charge it up to get it back or just idle. That's what I'm looking at. Well, his is coming back slowly on his own, I think, you know, moving around and such, so... It's 
So it ain't just about the spamming, but I mean, it is, but <laughs> wouldn't be able to do it constantly. I wonder if this came out later, this would have the, the last game's uh, wall bounce mechanics. You'd be able to... Ch -ch -ch. She's got lasers to her... Is she an angel or some sort? Maybe she just uses light in all her attacks. Would make sense. Everyone's got their own different kinesis. Except maybe for that robot arm guy. Now we're out in the city against Brad. It's by Taito, so I don't know if they would ever bring this one back. Well. PlayStation 1, I don't know if there's a lot of people talking about. There's a lot of people talking about uh, Psychic Force. No. Everybody's got a fan base for fighting games. I gotta just do a giant boulder. <laughs> a lot of close ups, though. Just kicking his ass, too, with it. Alright, get in. Oh no. Yeah, not much you can do. blocking in this? Maybe there's just barrier stuff. Okay, yeah, he took that. What the? I was like, you can turn people to dinosaurs? Or that was like a... He summoned Onyx and then he put him on the ground. You must think he's a joke. Man. That's like I do. Punch his legs. Okay. Oh, he did that. He can do that, and he can summon that. Big ol' rock snake, or whatever. I'm assuming that's what he's doing. Why the purple laser, though? What's that supposed to be? Oh, jeez. Oh, no! He's in trouble. Come on! Oh no, you're whiffing. Gotta get in there. One rock combo, and you're done. Woo! I was close. Now we're fighting against Sonya. Some pretty rockin' protagonist sounding music. What's your deal? And why are you wearing next to nothing? Gotta have your fan service character for some of these games, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the hair. Like if it was like if it wasn't that Like if it wasn't that much of it just straight up, it would have been fine. Like just a little bit, I would have been like, oh okay. But no, they gotta I think Zell dinked from Final Fantasy. It's like, damn. Calm it down with the hairspray there, buddy. I like that big move. The one where you make him T pose and then you just. Oh, she's got electricity. Okay. Maybe that's her thing. Ah. Big risk reward that move, obviously. Ooh, wow. Look at your health bar. You were sitting on nothing. You're sitting on either pixels or hypothetical, like Street Fighter, when you sometimes you win on zero HP. Another girl, Wendy. Let me guess, air or something? Big old grass, big old like green blades, like your Quest 64 in it. Dun, 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 <laughs> I wonder if she's tricky to play because a lot of her stuff curves. 
AI's notes what it's doing, but... Yeah, you gotta, like, get in positions with her and just... With that curvy shit. Still doing a number on him, though. Oh, whoa! I don't know what the hell that was gonna be. I would've killed if it... Okay, you're firing small ones now. Oof. Okay, so she does have a... Ouch. Oh, nice try. Uh, you probably could've done the combo off top of that, but... I get it. Sometimes you just panic and start mashing. It happens. I've done it. Got some good bops here with the music. I'll give it that, too. I bet dashing costs the mooter too. I'm getting some good back and forth on this. Ooh. Wind. Oh, time over. Yeah. Episode seven. I guess you gotta fight all the characters. Uh, oh dear. What's your what you're calling? Or is it just like key or something like that? Are you like a boss character with that going on? I know, it just seems very otherworldly. Maybe a psychic power is he's a ghost. Because looking up for stuff like this, just for videos in general, a lot of it was like the PlayStation 1, a lot of it was like story stuff and everything. I'm like, mm, I don't want to spoil anything, you know? Or at least if I don't have to. I'm just looking for like... What I try to look for is just like run-throughs of the game from start to finish. Just so I can see all the characters in action, that more than anything else. This is sounding some sinister ass music, I don't know. Are you gonna be sub boss and then f the guy from the intro he was fighting? Maybe that guy's the. He looked. Ooh! He looked serious enough to be getting impaled over here. Oh, he's a backfighter! He's a backfighter! He's a backfighter! Oh, get out of there! The knockdown actually saved you. Hmm. Final episode. Okay, so eight. Yeah, there he is. Keith. It's a very strong name, Keith. Like Bandit Keith. And again, in the intro, I'm thinking you're like the polar opposite. You're like the Yuri to his Kyo. You gotta have like water or ice. It's like your flames can't stand up to my water. I never did like something like that with KOF. We got like 
We got like how many dudes? Like four dudes throwing around flames. Nobody's a water user. <laughs> this music sounds more like a sh for a shmup than a fighting game, but maybe that's the. I mean, they're throwing projectiles too. Maybe that's the thing, kind of. I think Toho games are like this, so maybe this walked so those games could like run, you know? I wonder if any of those are on. Those are probably on my list. <laughs> those might come up. Damn it, I keep spoiling it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I get hype and talk about things. Ooh, the wall heart acts as a. Okay. That's a 3D fighter aesthetic. You hit the. Boosh! Hit the wall, take damage. Okay. Oh, maybe your spirit or whatever. Show off everybody one more time. Oh, you got electricity. Okay, maybe it's not all the cast, just... Because we're getting a lot of burn here. Zuntada, hey! Maybe that's why some of this music bops so hard. Taito, yeah. That's what I mean, though. They'd bring this back, but then I think, like I said, all those uh, Toho... There's some Toho fighting games that do it like this, I think, and they just would swallow it up. See it on Moog. See it on Moog and like a 2D version of it. Anyway, jumping straight into. I think this was like two, three years later. This came out, the sequel. Psychic Force 2012. It's like, alright, same intro, but pop off with how different it looks. We went from PlayStation 1 to PlayStation 2 graphics. Okay, voice acting too? Yeah, I only saw a little bit of it. Just to affirm uh, what I'm... I kind of like it keep in 2020 Yeah, a couple newer characters now. Group nothing. Oh. The game doing this, or is this your setup for this, uh... Is this insert coin setup here? Either way, I approve. And we got voice acting now. Oh, getting her stunned. Regina. Oh, wait. Oh, it's bl It's kind of Bloody Roar 4 style, where, like, the... Meter is the health? Oh. Okay. We're moving faster now. We're getting, we're getting like the one round setting. Yeah, that's what it looks like. You can see the purple's going up. I wonder if there's anything you can do with like a comeback mechanic with the low low health. Or is it just you will have all the smoother now to throw at? That hair. Now nah, it looks like a rooster. All new all new characters so far. Yeah, here come the rooster. A lot of catching dudes in the corner there and just pummeling them just into the ceiling, into the ceiling. Like, continually checking them into the... Yeah, check like a hockey game, just 
battering them. Ooh. Wasn't... F I honestly can't say right now I wasn't feeling the first one, but I like what I see here. Just in terms of, like, the combat and the glow up or anything. Not so sure about the health bar. Uh, gimmick, though. Getting more what you call it. I don't know. Bloody, four Bloody Roar 4 left a bad taste in my mouth. And killed the franchise. But we do be throwing stuff out anyway. Having more meter, you know. It actually might work for this. Because that's the basis of all your attacks anyway. You're just throwing psychic shit out. Just pew, pew, pew. So more meter to do it, but with less health. Yeah. Oh, getting Keith already. Oh my god, oh my... It's, yeah. And then he gets done, you can just palm him again. So there's like... Yeah. A lot more mechanics like uh, OTGs and stuff. Yeah. Hey. Turnabout's fair play. I don't know if there's like an escape mechanic or something. There's Wong again. All the way down to the cube. Move that hair. Whoosh. Ready? Go. Patty with her one psycho ball. Psycho ball. Ooh. Are you sub boss now? A lot of weird stuff in big. So I don't know, I think you throwing out stuff with like that lingering circle bullshit there. That's like, hmm. And... Whoosh! Final stage, okay, we're doing it again. Is that might? Yep, might with an M. Oh. Electricity? I guess we didn't have much of an electricity guy last stage, unless that was the robot arms guy. Oh, just wrecked his shit. More time. Whoosh, the hair. Congratulations, you are the greatest psychic cur. Next challenge using another character. Anyway, that was Psychic Force and Psychic Force 2012. Um Again with the Life into Meter, what you called? It did what didn't work for Bloody Roar 4, I think. Honestly, looking at it kinda worked here, so. Psychic Force, you get in middle, I guess so, on the, yeah, that makes sense, meter. This, though, 2012, respect the glow up, I'll, I'll give you more of a, it sure does, on the, yeah, that makes sense, meter. Psychic her. That's such a weird word. Oh, then, see you later, man.